If you have taller plants in your landscape that you're trying to overwinter, something where you're trying to push the envelope just a little bit in our zone five and six location, Jackie's got a neat trick here for a different type of a tunnel to protect a tender plant. Let's take a look at what you've got inside. Okay, so what I did was I used a tomato cage and, and just hardware clips that you can find at any uh, home supply store. And it's rosemary. <laughs> so I really love um, visiting northern Italy where the rosemary and the lavender are alternating hedges. <laughs> nice. Can you smell her? Nice. Yeah. And normally, so, they, you can't get them to overwinter here. It's a right, rare winter when you right. really can overwinter this. But so this looks great. It's so healthy. Yeah. She's green all the way yeah. through. Yeah. Aromatic. This, Fabulous. This is two tomato cages hooked together. And as um, she gets a little bigger, I'll just keep adding them. And I see you used a pretty heavy plastic here. Is yeah. this about a six mil plastic? No. That's what's generally recommended in our weather. It's and um, one of the tricks to using any plastic here is to make sure you're getting the type that is UV resistant. Our sunlight is so extreme that even in winter, it can turn it brittle and make it really hard to work with. But this is just about the right thickness and it stood up to our winter just fine. So let's put her back in. So Jackie, we're here in your front yard, right in the middle of a really busy neighborhood. And here you've got this amazing low tunnel for another raised bed. Tell me about this one. Okay. Well, a couple of years ago, I wanted some more space to grow vegetables. And I started looking for the sunniest spot in the house or the, on the property. And really, this was it. And a friend of mine is the front yard farmer in New Jersey. And I thought, you know, she's creating beds for people. And I thought, well, why not? So yeah, it's, it's another deep bed. And uh, this is the latest in my hoop house design. Um, it uses just, well, again, standard stuff that you can find it at you know, any home supply store. So is this a step up then um, from what you had in the back? Definitely, it's right. easier to use. And I think as you'll see, okay. there's, a, there's more abundance, more spring abundance. So we take the clips off. So with your help, Carol, we'll unveil Whoa. the next salad. Look at this. Wow. Boy, this is really beautiful. That nice punch of greens coming up at this time of the year. That kale that is just getting ready to pick. Oh, this looks delicious. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know, funny enough, I picked this down like two or three days ago. And that's all come back because the temperatures are warming up. I haven't opened it up to sun. I've kept it, kept it covered. Now, now the rub with this, and, and the, again, the heavy plastic, is that on a day when it's brilliantly sunny and 70 degrees, you've got to uncover it oh, or you yeah. roast it. Right. Um, yeah, I was actually, again, a little surprised. None of the lettuce lasted, just the arugula, which is more hearty, and, and the kale and some um, yeah, onion that I didn't I see get a little bit of, what is this, a red yeah. sails in here? Or yeah, a, it's a red romaine, maybe? Oh, red romaine. Yeah, Look they're at all that. that. Beautiful. Yeah, there is some mixed in there. Some of are poking their noses up. Yeah. yeah. So I've had to I uncover it to water. Well, this is a much different uh, type of construction and it looks really beautiful. Um, how about if you walk us through how you put this together? Because this looks like something that I'm going to go home and do myself. <laughs> okay. So this is standard deep bed construction, just um, pine and reinforced in the corners. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to have a hoop design that I could take off because I rotate tomatoes into this bed every couple of years and when there's greens in here I can use this as a, sh as a shade cloth support. So I started with wondering how I was gonna, I didn't want to attach this um, permanently to the sides so I just used these, these pipe, um, what would you call it? <laughs> these pipe things and there's two different sizes of, of pipe and one slips into the other. This is just standard water pipe New, this new kind of water pipe that's that goes in inside houses and then you might notice on the other end of the bed there's just a standard three-quarter inch PVC that can also come out but I had I had collapse this winter with the snow so how wide is this bed about three feet yeah probably a little wider probably 40 inches so guessing. are we Maybe. starting with the pretty much the standard is about a five foot length of this flexible piping in order to make this nice hoop Maybe a little six-footer? Yeah, All right. or, or 10 and you cut it in half. I think this is 
You know, that looks like 10 to me. Okay, so. And I see you have these little T brackets here. Yeah, all of this is available in the piping section mm -hmm. of, a, of a hardware store or, you know, any home improvement store. Every, everything is. And how did you attach the other pipe, the slightly well, larger pipe? Yeah, these use? are just little pipe clips or pipe brackets, and I just drilled them with it with screws, and I use a power drill, right, with a, with a, um, a, a screwing attachment and just screw them in. Great. Yeah, so it comes out really easy. Okay. And, um, you know, and yeah, so I can take the whole thing out, and then I store it, and it's not getting direct UV, so, it's, you know, it's lasted, this is its third, second winter, I think. This is a great shape. Yeah. Yeah. And I can support my irrigation off it, which I, you know, I, I try different things. Some of this is dripped. The greens seem to like overhead misty irrigation. And then in the, before I turn my irrigation system on, I've got a setup here where I can disconnect the drip line and put a hose connection on still with a pressure reducer so I can I can have this thing I just manually turn it on when it's needed right now I'm just hand watering and that's for the winter yeah, yeah. winter early spring now because right. it's you know I'm another month away from turning my irrigation system so you had this bed you sowed it with greens last fall yeah they were up and growing and then about when did you start closing this over oh probably October in October you now when the nighttime temperatures are getting into the 40s Definitely. Yeah. And then in spring, boy, you're up and rolling with up new greens. Rolling. Yeah. This is fantastic. I just have to kind of watch the days now. Yeah. And how does this do in the wind? Have you had any problems well, with it? Shall we, shall we, if you help me put it back on, I can sure. show you how that works. So the wind comes from the west. So what we'll do, and I wanted to have, have three pieces because this is easy to get into rather than detaching it. So this side goes in and that goes to the wind. Just comes right over the top. Oh, I and see. Then I, um, put it down. All right. And fascinating. It's not super, you know, weather tight, but it is wind tight. And you might want to take a look at how I've attached it. I've tried a, a lot of different ways to attach it to the to the bed itself. And I've taken some la some wood that's from lattice. Uh -huh. And taking the lattice apart, oh. yeah, and then just I roll the plastic up in it, and it, it makes it so it won't tear. Brilliant. And then I just drill, um, screw it in in a couple of spots. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. That that's perfect. So and it's better space. than trying to bury it with all the soil or yeah, rocks yeah, on it yeah. That, yeah that, that, that doesn't work so well. So yeah, it seems it works. Yeah, and you know, at the end of the day, how do your neighbors like with having this in your front yard? <laughs> well, I get a lot of questions at the rec center. What is that in your yard? A coffin? <laughs> a rocket box? What is that? A spaceship? <laughs> Well, you could have rocket arugula in there, and you'd be just <laughs> It's fine. true. It's salad. You say it's a salad house. So. All of these tips you can make yourself at home, just on material that you can find or scrounge, or go to the hardware store and find. And with this sort of addition to your garden, you can extend your growing season out so that it's pretty much going to be a three or four season harvest for you, just like it is for Jackie. Jackie, <laughs> thanks for a lot for making the video with us today. You're welcome, Carol. Thanks.